Hello friends welcome to free grammar lessons today we are going to learn about phrases versus clauses this is very commonly asked question so we will try to understand what they exactly are and what's the difference between them so let's get started let's start with an example my best friend and john is my best friend now both of them are group of words but one is a phrase and another is a clause can you identify which one is the phrase and which one is the clause let me give you a hint from these two group of words the group of word which has a subject and a verb combination is a clause and the one which doesn't have the subject verb combination is a phrase how can you identify my best friend is a group of word with no subject and a verb so it's a phrase and john is my best friend is having a subject verb combination that is john as a subject and is as a verb so it's a clause now let's define both of them properly with more examples to make things clear first we will go with phrases what is a phrase phrase is a group of words with no subject verb combination it doesn't have any meaning if it is used alone for example the sports car it is a group of word with a noun and an adjective watch movie it is a group of word having verb on the table it is a group of word having preposition and noun but it doesn't have any meaning if it is used alone so phrases are actually group of words which are used as a single unit in a sentence now let's look at clauses so what is a clause clause is a group of words with a subject and a verb combination it has a complete meaning by itself now clauses are mainly divided into two parts based on their usage maybe an independent clause or a dependent clause an independent clause is actually a complete sentence for example you were in the party it is a complete sentence and it doesn't depend on any another sentence to make it complete now what is a dependent clause then it is a group of word with a subject verb combination but it doesn't convey full meaning and hence it is not used as a sentence for example when i came home has a subject i and a verb came and it is also a meaningful group of words but it lacks the entire thought that is when i came home then what that is we want to know what happened after that now if i say when i came home you were in the party that's a complete sentence with one dependent clause and one independent clause so we have the combination of dependent and independent clause a meaningful sentence let's look into some more examples of dependent and independent clauses first before you go to bed you have to finish your homework here before you go to bed cannot be used alone as it won't convey any meaning so it's a dependent clause whereas you have to finish your homework is a independent clause as it can be used alone combining them both will give a complete meaning to a sentence After month of research he finally finished his first novel. Here after month of research is a dependent clause and he finally finished his novel is an independent clause. Let's see one more example to make things even clear. I hate to drink coffee because it upsets my stomach. Here I hate to drink coffee is an independent clause while it upsets my stomach is a dependent clause now i think you are clear with dependent and independent clauses so we are done with the similarities and differences between phrases and clauses so the key takeaways of the lessons are first the difference between a phrase and a clause and second independent and dependent clauses let's revise them firstly what is a phrase phrase is a group of words without any subject and a verb combination and it can't be used alone then what is a clause it's a group of words but with a subject and a verb combination and 
and it can be used alone. Finally, there are mainly two types of clauses, independent clause and dependent clause. Independent clause are those which are complete sentences and dependent clauses are those which are not complete sentences. That's all in this video. There are different types of phrases and clauses that we will cover in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. Please message me in the comment if you have any questions, doubts or need any grammar lesson. Please hit the like button if you found it helpful. Share it with others and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to get regular updates about the course.